coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited. More Icon Double Talk emerges. eBay's 2020 is canceled, and Tamarack's reorganization plan is approved. I'm Sophie Herlock. Recent Icon aircraft communications indicate the company's days of hype may not be over. Icon president and COO Thomas Wieners is now claiming the price drop of the Icon A5 from almost half a million dollars to $359,000 as a result of recent economies being realized from the Mexican manufacturing plant. However, this plant has previously only resulted in around 100 aircraft completions, as well as reports of craftsmanship fit and finish issues. On top of all this, Gamma reports show Icon production has gone slowly, only producing 41 planes for all of 2019. And the new price of the Icon A5 is still not enough to compete alongside similar category aircraft, like the Progressive Aerodyne Siri or the C-MAX M22, both of which are being offered at prices less than half of Icon's new price. Icon's former claims of massive order books have also gone by the wayside, with the company now admitting a waiting list of just a few months. We'll be right back with Around the Patch. Sandia introduces the new SAI 340 Quattro TSO'd airspeed, attitude, altitude, and slip. With integral backup battery, safety never looked so good. See it now at www.sandia.aero. Welcome back, it's time for today's trip around the patch. The National Aeronautic Association has indefinitely postponed the Collier Trophy selection, originally scheduled for April 2nd due to concerns over the coronavirus. The NAA said its top priority has always been to maintain the integrity of the Collier Trophy selection process, while also ensuring the health and safety of nominees and selection committee members. The Orion spacecraft for NASA's Artemis 1 mission has successfully completed several months of simulated space environment system level testing in the NASA-owned thermal vacuum chamber at Plum Brook Station in Ohio. The tests were conducted in two phases, a 47-day thermal vacuum test and a 14-day electromagnetic capability and interference test in ambient conditions, which both simulate the conditions the spacecraft will endure during its voyage to the moon and back to the Earth. The COVID-19 situation is escalating by the hour, and due to stagnant demand and enforced travel restrictions by authorities worldwide, Norwegian will gradually cancel most of its flights and temporarily lay off a major share of its workforce. Norwegian has already discontinued a significant number of its flights, and their main priority this week is to maintain as many scheduled flights as possible to ensure customers are able to immediately return to their home destinations. United Airlines outlined steps being taken to try to protect the airline during the coronavirus outbreak, noting large cutbacks are underway. In just the first two weeks of March, United has flown more than one million fewer customers than the same period last year, and is projecting revenue in March will be $1.5 billion lower than last March. They currently estimate they will reduce their schedules by 60%. We'll be right back with the rest of the news. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. EBAA and NBAA have canceled eBay's 2020, scheduled to take place in Geneva from May 26th through the 28th due to concerns related to the rapidly evolving coronavirus outbreak. 
Both business aviation groups have closely monitored the COVID-19 spread, which has prompted daily evolving announcements from government and medical authorities in the U.S. and Europe, impacting large public gatherings, travel planning, and other decision-making. The partner organization's decision came as the Swiss authorities announced all events of more than 100 people will be banned until at least April 30th. The Swiss authorities have also said they would reintroduce Schengen border checks. NBAA President and CEO Ed Volan stated they will keep their international partners and members informed with regard to how this challenging public health situation impacts events in the coming months. The plan of reorganization filed by Tamarack Aerospace Group was confirmed by the United States District Court for Eastern Washington, clearing the way for the company to begin the process to emerge from its voluntary bankruptcy. The plan of reorganization was affirmed by all voting classes without objection, includes repayment of all creditors in full, and affirms the Tamarack shareholders remain intact. The court's approval is a testament to Tamarack's financial strength, its dedication to its customers, and the support of its shareholders. The reorganization allows Tamarack to maintain support for its growing active winglet fleet. Sales continued during the reorganization and Tamarack performed its 100th active winglet installation in February. The company continues to grow its installation and service network and has recently added four new partners, increasing the total partner network to more than 20 worldwide. And that wraps up our show for today. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and check us out on Twitter and on Facebook. For more aviation and aerospace news any time of the day, head over to aero-news.net. I hope you had a wonderful Wednesday and I'll see you tomorrow.